you know, I feel like this film is like what we need right now in a time where, you know, there's so much sadness and, you know, and hate. I feel like we need this feel good feel film right now. Would you guys agree? A hundred percent. I think you, you know, I love a feel good movie anyway. I, I'm one of those people who will just rewatch movies that make me happy on repeat because it brings me back to like a time and a place and it elicits a mood. So regardless of the whatever is going on this year for all of us, <laughs> there are no words to describe it. No uh, I think you want to feel good film to kind of just escape and kind of remember to like, we're all connected. We're all going through the same things. We're all on the same page. We can all find joy together too. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and if you look at, you know, if you look at box office history, like during recessions, during times of depression, movie theaters always did well at the box office. This is historical. We can't go to the movies. I mean, it's just <laughs> oh. like, I don't know about you guys, but I go to the movies when I'm sad. I try to, it cheers me up. Mm -hmm. So we're, this is, uh, we're really excited and happy to bring this to people's home to experience a, a premiere with not just a select group of people, but with everyone around the world. So Josh and Molly work in a movie theater and you brought up how movie theaters are closed during the pandemic. What is something that you guys miss most about going to the movies? Is it the popcorn? Is it uh, the way you feel? Is it everything? What, what do you miss most? Um, I, I think it's just the, the social interaction with being able to say, Hey, let David, let, you know, calling my dad or someone to say, Hey, let's go to the movie theaters. Let's, let's go escape. Um, I mean, they're, it's good for the soul <laughs> to get out and to go laugh, go cry, go experience these emotions. And um, I, 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 yeah, it's, it's just crazy times we're living in right now. <laughs> it's interesting because one of the things that you do get with the event that we are doing for This Is The Year is something that I love about the movie theaters is the idea of like, you're having an experience with other yes. people as well, yeah. right? Because like now we're all, at home watching things by ourselves or watching things with our family on repeat and, and you you don't get the reactions of, of strangers you don't get the commodity of, of strangers too like I could be watching you know the devil wears Prada tonight but my sister at her house was watching Pride and Prejudice and and we can't you know talk with each nice. other afterwards there's something nice about the way that they're rolling out this is the year in the fact that like yeah you and your friends can talk right after and have this whole conversation and this new experience about this film that you normally would have to go to the movies together to go see and, and have that same experience at that same time but that's not the case right now Lorenzo, how is it working with your older brother on his feature film directorial debut? It was, uh, it was amazing. It was pretty amazing. It was really cool. Um, you know, we, we've always dreamed of doing this. So to do it for the first time every day was as stressful as it was. It was just, I had to like stop and just look at what was going on and be like, okay, my brother's directing, my dad's producing, we're on set together. Um, so it was pretty magical. It was, uh, I can't wait to do it again. And both of you, Vanessa, you as well. I loved your sister's cameo with the grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys like both have worked with, with members of the family. What is the best part about working with people in the family? I mean, I would say the fact that no one has your back like your family does, um, especially when you're venturing into something new like producing, which obviously this was the first uh, production for Lorenzo and, and David's production company. And, and I experienced that with Saving Zoe, which my sister and my mom and I all produced together. When you're going into that unknown space, it's really nice to have someone that you trust you know, implicitly and, and know that no matter what you guys will have each other's back. Cause it is crazy. Uh, producing right. is insane. You're not sleeping. And especially for Lorenzo uh, and David, by the way, cause he was directing and acting, but Lorenzo was acting and producing as well. It's, I mean, you're, you're exhausted. And so it's really nice to be able to look at the person next to you and be like, okay, I'm really glad we're in the trenches together. It makes yeah. it more enjoyable. I need to know, were there any fun behind the scenes moments? Do you guys goof off back behind the scenes? Anything you can share with us? Yeah, I can tell you one right now. Uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. I don't know if Lorenzo was sleep deprived or what was going did on. Did I fall asleep? <laughs> you did not fall asleep, but at one point you started rapping and <laughs> were like, oh, uh, I just want that stucco. 
put that stucco, stucco in my soup. soup. And we were all like, do you know what stucco is? And stucco. why are we going to have stucco in your soup? Okay, this okay. At like 3 a.m., by the way. I can explain. The, yeah. Uh -huh. We had like a, two weeks. It was either two weeks or a week and a half of midnight, like all night shoots. Um, so we were sleeping at like 6 a.m., waking up at like 6 p.m., completely disordered. <laughs> um, and when three around, three, three, 3 a.m. hit, I was just, delirious um so yeah i started i start rapping yeah and 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 rap he did and it made no sense 